All right, what's going on, people? So today we have an L2 called Lightlink. It's already launched its mainnet a few months back, but still tokenless, and it is seriously underfarmed. So we're going to have to start really looking at projects that are under farm. The space is becoming really diluted at the moment. A lot of test nets are getting a million users. Still obviously going to be doing test nets as many as we can. We're really going to start focusing on some main nets and ones that are really under the radar. Lightlink has raised 6 million and virtually nobody's using it. They have a Galaxy campaign open, which is ded dedicated towards their airdrop. They have 6% of the supply, which is going to go to the airdrop. 2.5% will be going to the Galaxy participants. And there is not a lot of people doing the Galaxy quests. Each each quest has around five to 10,000 people that have um, participated in them. And then their total value locked at the moment, if we look on, look on um, DeFi Llama, locked at the moment is 136,000, which is absolutely, obviously nothing. It would be a ghost chain at this point it spiked up um, at the beginning of march from like fifty thousand. but we have to if we want to get these big rewards we're going to have to target these projects these l2s and derivatives and other projects early on when they've got hardly any users so as i said they have their galaxy campaign open it's in phase two phase one does still have a couple tasks open but there's only uh, one task so we're going to come straight to phase two there's a load here to do. I'm not going to take you through all of it, but I'm going to take you through the most important ones. First thing that we need to do is we need to bridge some funds to Lightning. We're going to use a bridge that also has an airdrop coming. So we want to make sure that every transaction we are doing, we are not wasting any gas fees. We're doing two for ones constantly. Anytime we're moving money, we're moving it through something that is potentially going to give us an airdrop. We're going to use the bridge to do this one. They've just launched their points system up here. Dbridge has good funding, and I feel like this one is a bit under the radar out of all the bridges. The biggest bridges that people are watching are Jumper, uh, Magpie, Bungie, and Dbridge is in there. But I feel like Dbridge is kept at the bottom of the list, even though they've had substantial um, funding rounds. So I'm going to be making sure that I am really pushing transactions through Dbridge. I'm pushing them through all of them. Um, and I'm doing it with multiple wallets, but I'm going to make sure I really focus on Dbridge. We want to focus on the ones, as I said, that have got the least users. We've got to really now move smart as the market is becoming saturated. So what you need to do is I used um, Base, obviously a tokenless chain with a potential token coming. So um, I sent from my exchange Binance over to Base. And then I've bridged from Base to BNB. So we're getting the points on Dbridge for doing that and then we're going to go to the light link bridge and you can only bridge from bnb and then we're going to bridge an amount over to the light link phoenix mainnet i will also leave the link in the description for adding the chain i'll leave the link um the chain list link so you can add the light link phoenix chain to your wallet and then the next one is getting a space id so this is five dollars it's going to be around six dollars in total so you're going to get an id for light link through space id and then the next one is make a trade on amped finance testnet so if you wanted to do the testnet then you would go to the pegasus four set you will get some eth on it and then um, i will also leave the link for the pegasus testnet network and then on Amped Finance, you would make a trade up here. And then also you would provide some liquidity by buying some AMP or some ALP. For the main net, what you would do is all you would do is buy some ALP. So go to buy and then you would buy some ALP. You can buy a small amount, a few dollars and then you would complete that task. And then the rest you should be able to go through by yourself. It will be just minting NFTs um, and just follow the instructions for each of these. There is a load to, that you can do to earn points. Wraps this one up. So as I said, we need to make sure that we're targeting these projects that are under the radar that still have good funding, obviously have a good use case, a good narrative. I forgot to mention that this is built on Celestia. So Celestia stakers 
probably will get an airdrop for this as well. And I'm gonna make sure that I keep bringing you projects that are under the radar where we can get the fat juicy airdrops. A lot of them are not gonna be on testnet, but I'm still gonna be doing plenty of testnets, any ones that come up, um, and obviously still doing the updates with the testnets. But we've gotta make sure that we're moving away from the crowds. If we stay with the crowds and the masses, those airdrops are gonna be diluted and they're not gonna be worth doing. And obviously doing ones like this where there's no attention, it feels like a risk. It feels like you're giving something time that may never blow up, but you have to take those risks, whether you're buying a project, buying a token, or you're trying to farm it for an airdrop. You don't wanna be farming or buying projects that have already had loads of hype and run. You wanna get into them when nobody cares about them and that's where you make the money. So um, yeah, if you've got any questions, leave it in the comments and I will get back to you. Like and subscribe to stay up to date with the alpha, turn those notifications on and I will see you in the next one.